Hello everyone, my name is Gracian and welcome to episode 3 of this Let's Play of Against the Storm in Cold Forest. Again, I'm recovering from a cold, so I'm being a little, little more muted uh, during this playthrough, so I'm spending a lot more time just sort of vibing. Uh, we're on a slightly higher difficulty. Right now we are having a little bit of trouble with morale, so I've had to kick all my woodcutters out, but we're going to work on better housing, better food, and getting a blight post up, because there's actually a lot of these flowers on here, so we're going to have to work on that here in just a second. So I really need a way to make different types of, so like this would make planks, fabric, and bricks. This is a pretty good one. We have a building that makes planks right now, but it could go to basically making flour most of the time. So I might go ahead and grab the workshop. It's a really good building. The only problem with the workshop is that then they get a little bit, um, they get they get so busy making those goods like one one type of good that they have trouble making the other kinds as well but it is a really nice building for getting all the different stuff what was it called workshop there we go now i'll go right there and then we'll plop a warehouse down probably on this corner Just gotta set our production limits. Um, since they're gonna, I'm just not gonna set any of them up very high, so I'm gonna let them produce them at any rate they want. Actually, that means I gotta kick this guy out and get this building sort of out of the way for now. Might need it later. So let's just set a limit. I usually set my limit of planks up pretty high, and then I'll only do like say 20 of that, maybe 16 bricks, because we'll need more of this for harpies. We always need planks, especially for beavers. Um, and we don't need a whole lot of bricks. We don't have lizards. So I might even set that down a couple more. So I'll let them go ahead and like we need all of these right now So I'll let them just produce. Oh my god. We have 37 fabric. So they'll just produce these two kind of back and forth Some good stuff in here. Herb production and mold supply. So more grain, which we can use to make uh, flour, which we can use to make biscuits, which a couple of our people like. Can 
can also probably use it in porridge. I'm not sure what kind of, I think they use grain in porridge as well. So we, we probably want this one, number one, and then probably this number two, maybe this one. So let's see if we can get to $17 here. Um, that's not worth very much money, unfortunately. Willing to give up a few parts since we got some extras. I've got a lot of meat. Clay we get delivered periodically for free. Ooh, I wish we had something worth a little bit more money. We don't make anything complex yet, really. Can probably give up a little bit of fabric. I think that might be the only one we're getting because I can't really afford to sell much more right now. You can see each grain tile will give us nine grain now because we're getting plus three. need to get some of these immediately because these um, cysts are growing we're already at 64% so if we do nothing we'll get to 64% corruption on this so you can see we're almost two thirds so if we get any more which we could start getting um, we'll be in trouble so we really want to clear those out now so we get these guys making these
Gotta get some housing up, especially for the harpies, who are not happy pretty much any of the time. <laughs> basic deposits so we're gonna need to cut into some glades soon but the problem with that is that we um then we get more uh, hostility Okay, so as far as I can tell, I have no deposits for the harvester's camp. I have no deposits for the small trapper's camp, and I have no deposits for the stonecutter's camp to be working on. So that's that's kind of bad. We got a lot of people not doing anything. So if I but if I cut into more glades, I've got a problem. So I think I might need to go ahead and do it though, just because I don't have resources. We'll go ahead and just chop that down and then those three. We gotta fix that. Um, that's a lot of hostility. Okay. So let's have them cease cutting into this glade. Can't afford the extra hostility. And then let's, um, looks like they're done with that. So let's just get everybody out of there. Let's 
we're still getting quite a bit of negatives. Oh, you know what the problem is, is we may have opened this during the storm, which is an extra 10 from Shadowy Figure. Yeah, so I've really screwed myself over by doing that. I completely forgot about that. So we're going to have to sacrifice or lose a few workers. So that's going to be for three minutes. So we're kind of in trouble. Other than that, we'd be right on the line. So we just need a little bit. We just need like some kind of food that they like. We'll be in good shape. I'm just going to have to be good with losing some people because I can't stop. This is, this negative is too big. So I've kind of screwed myself over here. Also can't afford to be sacrificing this much lumber, so we're just gonna have to let people leave. I can't, I can't do anything about it now. That was a very big mistake. It cost me like six, seven people. So that, I mean, I might, I may lose the game just on that because that was a, such a big mistake. I've uh, been set back like two population arrivals.
this is a way to make ale um, we don't have a way to use it yet but that we could skip a step now uh, minus 15 percent to storm duration I need to buy basically all of these like this is huge this is huge this lets me get more done every year and it also means less time in the storm like proportionately um, I need to get 11 more dollars for sure and I'd love to get this one as well I'm gonna sell my wildfire essence and my blight how many can I get I get 20 for that um, so I'd have 25 so I have nine so I would need seven more to get this I'm kind of willing to spend everything on this because it's so important I'm like not too far away Oh, I have five. No, no, I no. There, I've spent a lot of what I have, but that's these are huge bonuses. Yeah, so drizzle now lasts like five minutes instead of four. It's kind of big. So my greatest bottleneck right now is planks. Doesn't matter when this is built. I don't have anybody to work in there because I lost too many people. I'm gonna have newcomers soon, so I need beavers uh, to work the lumber. I'm actually running out of fuel pretty badly. Uh, we need to stop producing these altogether. Um, who else is using planks? Here, get that wood out of there. You're not making that anymore. Should be the same over here, possibly. Let's get all that stuff back into the the space. And we've got 35 lumber. We're not producing coal yet, so I really need to get this coal mine built. Actually, I am running pretty low on fuel, so we need those planks. You have to stop producing these until we need them. Uh, let's downgrade the importance of this house until we get coal. Then we can start spending the coal in the hearth. Maybe turn that on. I may even tell them to start prioritizing coal.
Baldi. Hallo da. I'm trying to get squeeze a whole lot of coal out of here really quickly, um, so we don't have to worry about fuel. I also may need this for sacrificing when the storm comes. We have a little while left, though. The storm's also slightly shorter now, which is going to be extremely helpful. Bought myself a lot of non-storm time between these two. Street global resolve, totem of denial. Wow, I have this bonus and I'm still struggling. Oh my god. All right, everyone, we are all out of time for this episode. So let's uh, do a quick recap. We got some happiness under control a little bit better, but we're still struggling a little bit here. We have enough houses for the harpies, but they, they just don't have anything that they want, special food or clothing or anything like that. So we're gonna have to get on top of that soon. We were running out of resources, but now it looks like we're on top of our wood and our coal as we've got people kind of churning it out as fast as we can. Probably dump a couple people out of here soon. And we've got access to a few more resources now as well. Small trapper, trapper's camp is going. Once they're done here, we'll move them up to there. So we've got plenty of food, but we need to make complex food or we're kind of wasting our our money here, or our food. So we'll, we'll get this uh, somebody here making something like biscuits or something here very soon. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. If you are, please like and subscribe and uh, check out the link in my description for my Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode.